Hi everybody, it's Scott again. Today I'm going to be showing you kind of how to set up. I have a pair of old uh, parallel ATA drives here. Um, so I'm going to show you how to set these hard drives up um, as a slave and master drives for your computer. Um, usually this is actually really simple as long as you have the correct jumper. Um, I was trying to go through a, a few of our hard drives here today and had a hard time finding jumpers for this. So essentially what you need, I don't know if the camera will be able to zoom in on this well enough, you need a little jumper, and that's, that's all you need right there. And how you use that on the hard drive will determine if it's the master or the slave, or if the, it's set up to uh, cable select, where the cable literally determines which one's the master which one's the slave. Now, if you don't understand the importance of the master and slave, your computer can only really boot an operating system from one drive at a time. So if both of them think they're the master hard drive, then they're both going to try to boot their own operating system, and it's just going to clash and cause problems, and neither one of them is actually going to work. So it's important that if you have multiple hard drives with you know, an operating system on each, you need to set one to a master and the other to a slave. For these uh, old PETA drives, most of the time, there will be a diagram indicating how to configure the jumper for master. In this case, it's on the first pair. Cable select, the jumper goes on the second pair, and if it's the slave drive, you just remove the jumper and it doesn't connect any pairs. So I'm going to set this one up right now to be in master. So based off of that diagram, it's the first pair. If it can zoom in well enough, you can see I have that jumper installed on the first pair. So if I had that moved over to the second pair, that would be your cable select. I could remove it and set it on that third loaner vertically there, so it wouldn't actually connect any pins, and that would be the same thing as having it in slave. So if this configuration is master, this one is currently configured to cable select, and it's kind of the same way, they're both Mac store drives, so to set it to slave, I just need to remove the jumper. These are a little bit tricky because they're so small. So, all I had to do was remove the jumper. Now this would be my slave if I installed these both into the same computer. I'd have a master and a slave, and that would tell my system how to boot and which operating system to boot, which hard drive to boot from. So, as my master, I would boot off this operating system, but I'd still be able to access the data off of this hard drive. This is really helpful if you have a hard drive that gets corrupted, or it won't boot. Um, or if it might have some damage, but you think there's still data that's recoverable from this drive, you can set it up in this configuration so that you're using one operating system to look at data on a different drive. Um, that pretty much covers most of the basics. Um, sometimes there's no diagram, so you may end up having to go and look online at the tech manuals. Um, usually they're pretty easy to find and figure out, and I've only seen a couple that didn't have a diagram. Um, and again, the main thing is just finding these little jumpers. So feel free to leave me some comments below. Um, if you have any questions, you know, leave them there. I'll come down and answer them. And I'll see you in my next video.